Review code provided by Screenwave Media. Katamari Damashi was a sleeper hit back in 2004. Its simplistic visuals, accompanied by some acid trip inspired flair, was definitely something that could only hail from Japan. Despite its quirkiness, it garnered quite a cult following that turned a small title into an actual franchise. Years later, Namco Bandai finally brings us an HD remaster of the original game on both the PC and the Nintendo Switch under the moniker of Katamari Damashi Reroll. Even after all this time has passed, there is still something incredibly enjoyable rolling a bunch of junk into a ball. The story, in the loosest term possible, is completely bonkers. The king of all cosmos decided just one day to crash into every single star in the sky. Of course. It's up to his punitive son, the prince, to reconstruct all the astral remains of his dad's stupor. There is little in the way of story, but it is quite entertaining. The king always speaks in plural, as well as in loud record scratches. His dialogue is nonsensical, although it does end the charm of the game. There are short cutscenes featuring a boy who is the only one noticing the events occurring in the sky, and no one seems to believe him. Those cutscenes are now actually in the original Japanese language track, which is nice, but there was something incredibly charming in the terrible, bizarre English dub in the original piece to release, so I wish both options were available. Come along, it's time to go. Okay. This just in. The stars have suddenly vanished from the sky. The goal of the game is pretty simple. Using a round object known as the Katamari, the prince must roll objects of equal or lesser size in order to clump it up together to make the Katamari itself bigger. If he tries to collect objects that are bigger than the size of the Katamari, they won't attach. The idea is to explore a variety of zany levels and figure out the best tactics to collect as many objects as possible within an allocated time limit. What makes this game extremely intriguing by design is its sense of scale. The prince starts out with a tiny Katamari that can only pick up tiny objects like tacks or erasers, but the bigger it gets, so do the objects that can be picked up. It starts up with tacks, sure, but then goes to the levels of RC cars, chairs, animals, people, and I can't even begin to describe what happens next. It's amazing to play in a level and how the perspective shifts as time goes by. At first the camera is zoomed really close to focus on how miniature the prince and his environment is, but later on the camera is pulled further back and so is the size of the chaos ensuing. It's really something special to go back to the beginning part of a level and tackle it as a giant sized Katamari, especially to pick up things that weren't even an option before. The issues in the original game haven't really been addressed in Reroll. For one, you can say that the format is repetitive. While there are some different levels that involve collecting specific objects like crab or swans, they all still fall under the same category of rolling things up. In addition, while the game does control well, there are some frustrating moments where the Katamari gets stuck between stuff and it's impossible to move it, costing time in the process. This is a huge issue, especially since in one occasion I was playing a level for 10 minutes straight and I got stuck and the only way I could get out is restart the whole level and losing all my progress. If they simply had a quick reset button when you just show up again on a flat surface with no obstructions in the way, it would have helped the game immensely. As an HD remaster, Katamari Damashi Reroll gets the job done in the presentation department. The game is fully widescreen, and all the assets look sharper than they ever did. Loading times are also slightly faster than the original release, which is also welcome. However, it's rather disappointing that a 14-year-old game can't seem to be boosted up to 60 frames per second. Katamari Damashi was never a boundary-pushing game from a visual standpoint, so it's rather right disappointing that the Switch release doesn't double the frame rate of the less powerful PS2. There are also no additional features to speak of, making the game a rather short venture. Still, considering this is a low price tag, it's a minor quibble. Heck, experiencing the catchy soundtrack alone should be worth the price of admission. <laughs> Katamari 
the Mashi re-roll is a nice troll down memory lane. While the graphical touch-up could have been much more substantial, the game itself remains a joy to play years later. Its levels complement the Switch's mentality of pick up and play, and its crazy humor is bound to put a smile on everyone's faces. It's easy to see from this game how this series managed to go on such a huge roll afterwards. And now if you excuse me, I'm gonna hum that soundtrack again. WDA. <laughs> 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 <laughs>